I've been testing a lot of filaments to see which ones make the best airless basketballs and throughout my testing I've had a lot of people comment and request that I try polypropylene to see how well of a filament option that is for an airless basketball. But pretty quickly I ran into some issues where the filaments for polypropylene were either out of stock or pretty outrageously expensive. But after searching on Amazon I did find a fairly reasonably priced polypropylene filament by using Yusu or Yushu, sorry if that's the wrong way to say it, but apparently it's a semi-flexible, ultra-tough filament, and after looking into it, it looks like the company states that the filament is white because of additives that they add into the filament to not only make it easier to print, but also have some advantages of sticking to the printing bed a little better. They also state that the additives and everything in this filament does not sacrifice any of the strength, rigidity, or anything else that a raw polymer polypropylene filament would offer so I think this is going to be a good start to try. After opening up the box obviously the filament was in there but it also comes with these five adhesive bed sheets that you place on your printing bed while you print and this helps the polypropylene stick to your printing bed so that you can have successful prints with this polypropylene. The instructions for the filament also said that it's best to have a smooth printing bed so that the adhesive bed sheet sticks better to the bed itself so that you can actually print with the polypropylene so I went ahead and attached one of the adhesive sheets to my smooth bed so what I did was I just peeled the adhesive part off of the backing and I slowly pushed down on the adhesive sheet I worked from the bottom to the top and I just slowly moved back and forth making sure that no air bubbles or any weirdness happened when I was pushing it down then I gave it a little bit of pressure and it was good to go I didn't really Read anything online about needing to dry your polypropylene filament before printing but I always think it's good practice just to give it a couple hours of drying before printing with it so I stuck the polypropylene filament in the dryer for a few hours and then when that was done I sent the print. Unfortunately after my first attempt with this polypropylene filament the adhesive sheet detached from the smooth bed so I took the bed upstairs and gave it a good wash with dish soap and warm water and then I I put a second adhesive sheet on it. I tried to keep as many air bubbles and crinkles out of it as I could and then once I had the adhesive sheet on it I ended up weighing the adhesive sheet down with a box of filament and I put some heavy batteries on top of that and left it for about 30 minutes to make sure that the sheet was adhered really well to the print bed. Then I sent the print again but something I did differently this time that was a little extra was I ended up putting some magnets on on the adhesive sheet while it was printing so that it would hold the adhesive sheet to the bed a little better and after adding these magnets in a couple days it printed successfully. Next of course was removing the supports from the ball so I took it out to the garage and used the angle grinder with a sanding disc. I ended up nicking myself really bad in the thumb while I was doing this so don't try this at home or if you have to please wear all safety equipment like I should have been doing. But after it was all sanded off this one was a little different in that I had to use a screw to kind of poke out the extra plastic in the holes and then vacuum that extra plastic out before doing any testing or weighing. It cleaned up pretty well, but if this filament turns out to be a good option, I'll definitely spend more time next time cleaning up that bottom where the supports were. Next up was weighing the ball and it came in at about 649 grams. After that, I jumped straight into bouncing the basketball and I have to say the bounce was not very impressive. It felt pretty clunky and I really had to throw that basketball down to get it to bounce any but I will say I did throw it down pretty hard and it held up pretty well so that's promising. Next was the bounce test. I ended up dropping the ball from the top of the board at six feet to see if that top of the ball can bounce back up above that orange line which is at 49 inches and it would be within the NFHS standards. Unfortunately after many tries this polypropylene filament just couldn't get above that orange line. Next was the durability test. I was going to put it through 500 bounces to see if it could hold up and after about 174 bounces it ended up cracking so it was not successful in the durability test. Now there's only one thing left to do. Now I have a clam basketball. 
Well, unfortunately, this polypropylene filament didn't pan out too well as far as how great of an airless basketball it can make. Based on what I saw from this filament, I'm not sure it'd be worth trying the extra headache and price to actually try the raw polypropylene filament. I think there are some better options out there worth trying, but if you really want me to try that raw polypropylene filament, I might consider it. Let me know in the comments. I'll be trying some TPU filaments and some other crazy things in the next few videos, so be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.